Nell here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD! In the last episode... Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha ha! Yeah, I hated everything about last episode. Last episode was the Silent Realm, which, uh, you know, we all have that one part of every game that we dread, right? Well, the Silent Realm is that for me in this game, but... We did get the ability to swim underwater from that trial, which allows us to access a new area of the forest. So we're in here, we're, we're basically in, I guess, the root system of this big old tree. Uh, we do have some bubbles along the way if we need to take a big old breath. But you know, thankfully, Link has like some actually absurd lung capacity. <laughs> Link basically never needs to breathe. Well, not never, but he can hold his breath for an absurd amount of time. So, uh, we're pretty much safe. We're not going to be drowning anytime soon. But at the end of that pretty linear pathway or tunnel way, we arrive here. Inside of the Great Tree. Ah. Okay, so this... You know, we, whenever we go inside of a tree in video games, typically the point of it is to go up and climb it. Get to the top, right? Right. So uh, this is no exception. We're, we're here. We're going to be trying our best to get to the top of this tree, which shouldn't take too long. Get away. So I think if we jump over here, we can we can actually bypass this dude. Ah, uh, I can just like do this. Swing! Yay! Yeah. So we can just like come around this area, cause uh, if I if I jump to that second, <laughs> that second uh platform, I definitely would have gotten hit. Uh, we can also go in here. Hello! Can you drop? Drop a thing? Drop a thing? No? No thing dropped? No thing dropped. That is mighty unfortunate. I was hoping for some, you know, claws. Oh god. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. I'm not- I'm not dealing with it. I'm not- I'm not risking that jump, because if I jump that, then, uh... Then everything's terrible. So we're gonna crack open this chest, and we get a gold rupee! 300 rupees to my wallet, which is great, because I literally just spent so much money. Aw, uh, I think if we jump down here... Yeah, this is the right place. So we got a treasure chest, which is nice. We're on we're on the right track. Aw. There we go. Yeah. Drop down and now we can pop outside. Um, okay, so <laughs> we do have these. There are some some goddess chests. Unfortunately, if you jump down here, there's no way to get back up there. You basically have to backtrack, uh, which isn't the best. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna deal with it. Cause I'd like to get these goddess uh goddess cubes. Did I say chest? I'm pretty sure I said chest. Uh, I really want to get these goddess chests. So you could theoretically you could just wait until you get up top. Uh, and then jump down. But since we're here, and honestly, it's not that hard to get back into the tree at this point, I might as well just do it. Uh, so, pardon me while I get back up to <laughs> that little area. Ah, the magic of video editing. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we got that goddess chest. We're a, a cube! It's not a chest yet! It's a cube! Stop it, Masay. Stop it. Oh, birdies. Oh, I didn't get those. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold. Whoa! Three! Nice, I got them all. 
All right, uh, yes. There is a little dude up there that I don't want biting me as I go up. That's right, get wrecked. All right, hop, hop, hop. My stamina's going down. It's all right, I think we're like right here. Yeah, we're good. Aww. Hey, whatever that sound is, it sounds like a tummy growling. Mmm, I see you. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Eh, eh, eh. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me, wasps. Ow, I got hurt once. Um, did that dropped? And I heard it drop a thing. I don't. You know what? I'm not gonna jump for it. I can get, I can get the larva anytime I want. I know where to get it. I really don't need to sacrifice all of my progress just for one material. I really don't need to do that. Hey, this camera angle sucks. Aw, we're good. That sound. That sound is distinctly a tummy growling. <laughs> All right, back into the tree we go. Ah, it's big moblin hours. This is fun. Hey, bud. I already beat up someone outside. I beat up your bro outside. No! <laughs> okay, at least... At least it doesn't count. At least it doesn't count as, like, an entire area. I didn't even lose any health from that. I thought I was gonna land all the way down there and I was gonna have to climb back up. That, uh, honestly, that would have sucked more than anything else. All right, come on. Come on, I got you, dude. I got you. It's fine. I don't care. I'll tank the hit. No worries. Ow. He fell on me. I even got my heart back. How about that? And we have a, a bird statue, which that's pretty nice. Oh, there's another, another goddess cube. I don't want to do that right now. Hi, what's up? What's up? Can I just like, oh, 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 yes. We're good. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Fall to your death. All right, we took them all out pretty quickly. They, they, he went all the way down there. What an unfortunate way to go. Hey, how about... Oh, if you gave me any material, I'm definitely not getting it now. Aww. Yep, I see those two goddess cubes. We can definitely get those, but uh, I'll save it. I'll save it. We'll, we'll come back down <laughs> uh, momentarily. Yes, Fi? Master, listen closely. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah, it, tummy. Tummy sounds. Is that all you wanted to say? <laughs> all you wanted to say was, hey, you you be hearing that? I be hearing that. Oh, I can't collect that that way. Gimme. Yeah. That is a tummy sound. You have reached the top of the tree. From this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you will see an area you haven't explored. Master, look up there. I have confirmed the discovery of a new Kikwi. Analysis indicates a 90% chance that the sounds we have been hearing were the loud snores of this Kikwi. Are its eyes open? Is it sleeping with its eyes open? Definitely looks like his eyes are open. Hey, buddy. I, I have I have something to talk to you about. Hello! Kikwi! <laughs> oh, then I'm napping. Oh, look at that. A real live human. I haven't seen one of you in a while. <laughs> 
I used to call me Yurple. Now I'm just the old Keekly Hermit. I watch over this forest here when I'm not napping. I don't know how you wandered all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? Nope. Fibber! You're a fibbity fibber quark! And just how did you peg me with your fancy shooter thing without being able to see me, eh? But forget all that nonsense and tell me, Quark, what business does a real live human have in these woods? Oh, the flame. You're out questing for a flame to enhance your sword, Quark, so that you can find someone important to you, eh? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame, Quack. Listen, do you promise not to breathe a word of what I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious, Quack. I'm sorry. I'm not meant to be a hero. I, I just need all of the, all of the quirky answers. You can't keep a secret? Here I am trying to let you in on a big secret, and you can't even promise to keep it to yourself. Do you even want to hear it, Quark? Nah. What's it? Oh, fine, I give up, Quark. You climbed all the way up here, so I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> He's so upset. The flame that you seek is most likely for Raw's flame. Yes, yes, for Roar's flame. That story begins very long ago when the goddess was still with us, Quack. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over Farron Woods. The way I hear it is she left the flame in the care of the water dragon so that one day the mighty dragon could pass it on to the one from the sky. You see, Quack, I've got a hunch that the goddess was talking about you, lad. Well, that settles it. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Our lair is deep in a lake in the south of these woods, Quack. She watches over the flame there. There's a problem, though. The gate that leads to that lake is sealed shut to all those judged unworthy. But don't worry, Quack. I'll let you in on the trick to opening the gate. To open the gate, you must ha you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved into its doors, Quack. Oh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock the gate, you must make the symbol whole. The only way you'll know what the completed symbol should look like is to first find that same completed symbol somewhere else in these woods. The gate is down in the south, so it's likely there's a matching symbol somewhere up north. Try searching near this block. Okay, so, uh, right there. Is all of this seeping into your head, lad? Do you know where you must go to find the symbol? Yes, I got it. I got it. Yes, please. Then I wish you safe travels, lad. Oh, wake up! I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very persnickety about manners. So watch yours. I've heard stories of folks who caught her in a fussy mood. They ended up as a mid-morning snack. I probably taste like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal, Quark. So don't let her know I told you about Faroor's flame, okay? And remember, when you're in her hall, you better be on your best behavior and be a gracious guest. Hey, that's asking a lot, dude. <laughs> I'll be here napping if you need some of my elder wisdom. See you around. M my dude, that is asking a lot out of me. Specifically- Oh, no! Hey, that's fun. Hey, you, you want to know what I wanted to do? I wanted to jump off elsewhere so that I could, you know... <gasps> two blue birds? Oh, I don't want to go down there. Uh, I wanted to jump down elsewhere so that I could, you know... Uh... Eh, eh, eh.
get the goddess cubes, but I screwed that up. Uh, but yes, we have our new destination, but before we end up doing that, I am going to be going around to those other two goddess cubes that we took a little peek at. All right, here's the bird statue. We're back up here, and we should be able to make it to these two goddess cubes from here. I'm gonna hang down, uh, I think a little bit more this way. Technically, I believe we can get this one at a later point, but I don't want to wait for it. So we're gonna just cheese it. <laughs> we're, we're cheesing it, and we're gonna get it this way. We might as well. It is literally right here. Heck yeah! Now, unfortunately, we can't go back up. <laughs> we can't go back up from here. Actually, I probably should have gone... Oh no, the other one's over there. It wouldn't have worked. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back up. Uh, and drop back down one more time. But honestly, uh, instead of going through the whole rigmarole of climbing the tree, I prefer to go up into the sky and then drop back down onto the bird statue. I, I just feel like it saves a little bit of time. So we're gonna do that really quick. A part of me kind of wishes that these were just straight up fast travel points and not, you know... You don't have to go back up into the sky to drop down because it pretty much is a fast travel just with an extra step But that's also just me being lazy uh, So yeah, that saves a little bit of time to go back up into the sky uh, And fast traveling this way So now I'm trying to find yeah, there it is There it is. I think right around this area. We should be able to drop down Uh-uh, uh-uh, no no, I refuse. Right there, I think. Yes. That looks... That looks okay, right? I think. Yeah! Man, that was a... Uh, that felt like a tight squeeze. <laughs> that definitely felt like a tight squeeze. So I, I was uh, truthfully unsure if that was going to work. Uh, so... Here we go! Another goddess cube in the bank. Awesome! Now, uh, funnily enough, we find ourselves right here. If we open up our, not our gear, our map, this is the spot that he was like, Hey, go and check out this spot so that you can know what the thing looks like. So since we have dropped down in this area, let's go and take a look. Obviously, I kind of already know what it's supposed to look like. But for the sake of demonstration, this is what we are looking at. So it was uh, missing this little circle here. I estimate an 80% probability that this symbol is one, the one the hermit was describing. I recommend you memorize its shape. Yeah, I know. Um, now... <laughs> Okay, on the notify, right? On the notify, it's kind of... She's always like, there's an 80% probability. There is a 95% probability, etc, etc. I wish... I wish that at one point she would say that and she's actually wrong. And then she gets to be like, well, I did say a probability. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I just kind of wish that it were actually a probability and it wasn't just like, you know uh, This is where you need to go and just like just one time in one harmless instance I would love for her to just be wrong and have link be like Fi, What are you doing? Fi, Why are you like this? Hello <laughs> that, That's always been an a uh, fun thought for me is just like Fi being wrong just like once because she's never like this is where you need to go it's always there is a so and so amount of probability that this is what you need to do next i'm just like a probability doesn't mean a hundred percent a probability is a probability you can still be wrong uh, now i do believe our symbol is right here Get lost. I hate those things. All right. Uh, yes, Fi? 
Master, my calculations indicate there is an 80% probability. There it is again. Yo, 20%. If there's anything that Fire Emblem has taught me over the years is that anything above like 5% happens all of the time. Those 5% misses, dang. <laughs> all of the time, miss every single turn. Even 1% is a lot more frequent than you might think. And she's out here like 80% probability and never gets it wrong. I have also deduced that the power of the goddess, the Kikui uh, hermit referred to, is in fact the Skyward Strike. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna do our thing. And now, here we go. Th this is, this is kind of interesting. Uh, we, we actually have to like, legitimately draw this, which can be a little bit tricky with, you know, motions. But looks like the sensitivity is pretty good. We've done it. We have opened the way. I'm surprised that didn't take me more than uh, the one try. I 100% was expecting to uh, have to... <laughs> I was 100% expecting having to do that like five times. Anyway, here we are at the edge of the platform and our next destination is within the depths of the lake. Hey, good thing we can swim, right? <laughs> So, we're going to do that in the next episode, and I will see you all then. The Cinella, out.